Hey guys, it's Ryan from Green Tech Network here with a review for the TMP36 temperature sensor by Analog Devices. This temperature sensor is mainly used with a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino to measure the ambient air temperature that the device is in. If you want to purchase this temperature sensor from me, you can do so through my eBay store. I'm going to have a link in the video description. It's basically just under the eBay name of Green Tech Network, so it's just the same as my YouTube name but under eBay. And eventually I will also have this temperature sensor available on my web store, which is greentechnetwork.net. So if these video reviews help you, please purchase it from me because it helps support me in making these reviews. I'm going to start this video review by showing a close-up of the TMP36 temperature sensor itself. You want to face the flat side towards you so you can look at the correct pins in the correct order. On the very left pin is the voltage input and it accepts 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts. The middle pin is the voltage output which is an analog output which basically lets you measure the temperature and on the very right is the ground pin. Now that you've seen a close-up of the device, I just want to go over some of the features the TMP36 offers. These are the most basic features. If you want some more advanced features, you can check out the data sheet. I'll put a link in the video description to the data sheet. And on the data sheet, there's about 30 pages of advanced features, diagrams, and graphs. After I go over the features, I'll also be showing you the most basic diagram that analog devices recommends you use the TMP36 for and also the voltage versus temperature output graph. But getting back to the features, the first two I already kind of mentioned. Like I said, the temperature output is a voltage analog output, so you will need to convert it in order to like understand it or read it in temperature in degrees Celsius. And I will include the equation later on, it's just on the page down a little lower. I just wanted to zoom in on the features first. I also mentioned the, it has low voltage operation of 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts, which is perfect for the Raspberry Pi and Arduino because they both offer voltages between that range. On to the temperature accuracy. Analog Devices claims it has a plus or, plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius accuracy over the range of negative 40 degrees Celsius up to positive 125 degrees Celsius. They also mentioned that typically you should expect to get around plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and the only time you're going to be at plus or minus 3 degrees Celsius accuracy is if you're at the extremes of this temperature range. So if you're down near negative 40 degrees Celsius or up near positive 125 degrees Celsius you should expect plus or minus 3 degrees accuracy but if you're more so towards the middle of this range, which is, I don't know, around 50, I think, 40 degrees Celsius, whatever it is, you should expect more around plus or minus 2 degrees accuracy, which is, you know, pretty accurate for a temperature sensor, which is as cheap and small as this. This next point also kind of ties into the accuracy. It has very low self-heating, which will provide the most accurate measurements that you can. As you can see from up here, this is the... TMP36 itself. This is not a close-up just to give you a little bit of a scale. This is like the tip of a pen. So it's extremely small which is great if you're looking to use it in an application where space is limited. It is the TO92 package as you can see up there which is nice and small. It has the three output pins. I already went over the output pins but I'll explain them again. If you have the flat side facing you, right now it's the curved side facing me because it didn't rest on the um, curved side. But if you have the flat side facing you, the very left pin is the voltage input, which is the 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts. The middle pin is the voltage output, the analog output, and the very right pin is the ground. Also, it has a supply current of 50 microamps, which is perfect for anyone who's trying to power the temperature sensor with a limited amount of power. So let's say you're running your Raspberry Pi off of a battery and you want to extend the life of that battery for as long as you can, you're going to want to use a temperature sensor like this because it has such a small supply current. This is the voltage equation I was talking about earlier. Like I said, the TMP36 is an analog voltage output, so you do have to write an equation in order to understand it. So in order to understand it, most people want to be able to read the output in temperature in degrees Celsius. So this is the equation you use. You use temperature in degrees Celsius is equal to voltage output of the TMP36 in millivolts minus 500 all over 10. So this will give you temperature in degrees Celsius. If you want temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, you can obviously just incorporate this equation and plug it into the equation that converts temperature in degrees Celsius to temperature in degrees Fahrenheit.
Now that you understand the basic features the TMP36 offers, I just want to go over how to wire it in a diagram. This is the most simple diagram that analog devices offers in their data sheet for the TMP36. If you want a more advanced diagram, you can check out the data sheet. Like I said, the link is in the video description. So I have here the TMP36 just to show you the pins and everything. The flat side is facing us, which is the correct orientation when you're, de when you're determining the uh, pins from 1 to 3 from left to right. So you can look down here, only focus on the TO92 because that's the package we're using. The voltage supply is pin number 1, which is all the way on the left. Ground is pin number 3, which is all the way on the right. And voltage out is pin number 2, which is right there in the middle. Now this is the actual diagram you're going to be using. Like I said, the voltage input is 2.7 volts to 5.5 volts. And now the voltage output and the ground are you know, pretty basic. There's nothing extra you need to do. You just need to have this run to your Raspberry Pi in order to understand and read the temperature measurements and the ground just runs to your ground. The only more complicated thing, which is, is someone who's not familiar with electrical engineering or any of that, you're going to want to incorporate a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. This capacitor helps add stability to the TMP36 little circuit diagram you have here. You're basically going to want to run this capacitor between your voltage supply and the ground. And all it does is it acts as a little kind of buffer, I guess if you want to call it that, to help add stability to the circuit. This is just a quick little bonus graph I decided to include last moment. It's just a cool little graph that shows the output voltage in relationship to your temperature of degrees Celsius. You're going to want to focus only on letter B, or line B I guess you can call it that, which is for the TMP36. The other ones are for the TMP35 and TMP37 that analog devices also supplies. This is just, you know, the line for it. I thought it was kind of cool that they give you the graph. And from this graph, if you didn't have the voltage equation that I supplied you with, you can determine the voltage equation. But I just thought it was kind of neat to look at this and so I could fully understand the relationship between the output voltage and the temperature degree Celsius. So if you have any questions about the TMP36 temperature sensor, please be sure to either message me or put a comment on the video. Like I said, if you enjoy my reviews for the all my Raspberry Pi accessories and sensors and all that fun stuff, please purchase the sensors and accessories and all that stuff from me. Right now, I only have stuff on my eBay account, which I will have a link in the video description. It's just under the eBay name, eBay name Green Tech Network. And eventually, I will have stuff up on my web store, which is available at greentechnetwork.net. So if you have any questions, like I said, be sure to contact me. Thanks for watching.